right, good morning, you guys. Welcome to yoga on this Saturday, November 20th. Sun is out, but the temperature is still pretty frosty, so we will be together on YouTube. So we wanna make sure that we think about our practice like a journey. We're not going to get it all done in one day. We're going to listen to our bodies, and we're gonna focus on good breathing and connecting our movements with our breath. First thing we'll do is get nice and comfy on your mat. So let's go down onto our backs. Let your arms be restful at your sides, and let's turn our palms open face to the sky. Closing our eyes, we want to breathe deeply in through the nose, expanding our belly back and rib cage. Exhaling out through the nose, we feel that same area of our bodies contract and empty. And just think about breathing slowly and smoothly. While we're breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, let's guide our breath and our awareness into our face, softening our eyes, relaxing our forehead, relaxing our jaw. Breathe into your neck. And then breathe from your shoulders all the way out to the tips of your fingers. Guiding our breath, let's breathe into our hips. Let the breath travel down the legs and out to the tips of our toes. And then we're going to focus in on the spine. And I want you to start at your tailbone and breathe up the length of your spine, allowing your breath to weave itself in between each segment, creating space and lightness. Let's turn our head to the right and breathe into the left side of the neck. Come back to neutral and we'll turn our head to the left and breathe into the right side. And then return to that neutral place. Let's inhale and float the left arm towards the sky. As we exhale, it's gonna softly float behind us once it's made it to the mat, I want you to push out through the heel of your left foot, stretch out through your fingertips, feeling that stretch going up the left side of your body. And then let that relax. Inhale the right arm to the sky. Exhale, it floats back behind us. Once it makes it to the floor, you know, push out through the right heel, let's stretch out through those right fingers. and then let's relax. And now try pushing out through both heels and reaching out through all of your fingers. And then feel it all go soft. Lift the arms back up. Exhale, return to your sides. Once there, we're gonna pull the left knee all the way up to our chest, give it a nice close hug, and then flex and point your foot. Circle your ankle around, make it nice and slow and deliberate. And then do a few the other way. And then I want you to flex your foot and try to spread your toes apart really, really wide. If you can reach your foot, try like pulling on your big toe and your pinky toe, spreading them apart from one another. and then just scrunch your toes up really, really tight. Let your foot relax. 
and we'll send that leg out. Now I'll pull the right knee in and start with a nice close hug. We'll flex and point our foot. And then roll the ankle around. And then let's reverse. And then just rest your foot. And then I want you to flex your foot, spread your toes out really, really wide. And again, if you can reach your toes, just spread your big toe and your pinky toe away from one another. And then go ahead and scrunch up all of your toes. And we'll let our foot relax. Let's bring the left knee back in. So we're just going to hug ourselves super tight. Keep the shoulders relaxed on the mat and let's rock a few times side to side. Feel that nice massage on either side of your spine. Come back to a neutral place and let's circle both knees around and around. Massaging through your lower back. And then let's go the other way. And then just hug your knees in really, really close to your body. Now let's tighten the belly, press through the back of the rib cage, and bring the nose up towards the knees. Roll the head, neck, shoulders back down. Try again, tightening the belly. We're going to round the shoulders off the mat, pressing through the back of your ribs. And release back down. Let's rest our feet back down on the mat, space them apart about hips distance, toes and heels out slightly, enough space between your heels and your butt cheeks so that when we lift up our hips into bridge, we wanna feel it in the gluteals and the hamstrings. Arms at our sides, palms facing up. Start to tighten that belly button and peel off the mat. Lifting our hips, maintaining that bridge without feeling any weight pressing into the neck. And then let's exhale and melt our way back down. Try again. Let's tighten the belly and peel off the mat. Pressing our hips nice and high. And then exhale. We melt back down. We're going to try that once more. Tightening the belly and peeling off the mat. Pressing our hips nice and high. And then exhale, we melt back down. Once we've made it all the way back down, just feel your back pressing into the mat. We're gonna pull the knees into the chest once again, giving ourselves a really close hug and feeling the stretch going down the length of the spine into those gluteals. Let's cross our ankles. We're gonna hook around our big toes with our second and third fingers, and we're gonna tighten the belly as we press through the back of the ribs. Let's round up, bringing our nose towards our knees. And then on the exhale, using the power of your belly, we're gonna roll up. Now once we've made it upright, we end up in our easy cross-legged position. Gonna relax the shoulders, lift and open the heart. Let your palms open face to the sky. Close your eyes and breathe into your mountain pose. And drop our chin to our chest and breathe into the back of the neck. And then inhale, lift the head into back to open the throat. Exhale again, chin to chest. Inhale, lift to back, open your throat. Exhale again, chin to chest. And inhale, lift to back, open your throat. And then just bring the head back to neutral. Think about being drawn towards the sky so you're lifting off of your tailbone. We're going to turn our eyes to look over that right shoulder. We turn to neutral and we'll turn to look left. Come back to neutral and turn to look right. Once again back through neutral and we look left. And then we turn to that neutral place. Let's drop the chin against the chest once again. And now place your hands together at heart center. 
Take a big inhale. On the exhale, we're going to extend the arms to the sky. And then as we inhale, draw them back into your heart. Exhale, extend to the sky. And inhale to the heart. Exhale, extend to the sky. And inhale into the heart. Now just extend the arms out in front. And let's inhale, open the arms and the heart, palms to the sky. As we exhale, scoop the belly and round the back and let the back of your hands come close. Inhale, open wide. And exhale, round. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. Once more, inhale, open. And exhale, round. And let yourself come back into our seated mountain pose. I want you to start to draw the shoulders up so they're coming up and they're going to touch the bottom of your earlobes. And we're going to slowly let them drop away. And think about your neck emerging out of your shoulders. Try that again. Draw the shoulders up into the ears. And then let the shoulders pull away from the ears. Drop the chin to your chest. Tip the right ear to the right shoulder. Drop the chin and let's tip left. Drop the chin and tip right. Drop the chin and tip left. Drop the chin and bring the head back to neutral. Let's take another inhale in our seated mountain pose. Exhale, feel everything go a little softer, and then we're ready to move on to hands and knees. Making our way into all fours. Shoulders are over hands, hips are over knees, tops of the feet on the mat. Fingers wide spread. Let's turn our hands in slightly so that if our thumb and index fingers were to come together, they would form a triangle. Pressing down through second, third, and fourth finger knuckles. Feel your spine lengthening from the top of your head to the tip of your tailbone. Now start sinking your navel as you lift your tailbone, lift your head, and open your heart. Exhale, scoop the belly in as you round out for cat. Inhale, open for cow. Exhale, round cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, round cat. Come back into neutral spine. Keeping the belly button nice and firm, push out to the heel of your right foot. Extend the left arm forward and rotate your palm towards the sky. Exhale down and we'll switch. Extending out to the right heel and pressing through. Extend the right arm forward, turning your palm towards the sky. Exhale back to all fours. Separate your knees, let your big toes come close and push back with your tailbone. Let your chest drop through your knees, let your forehead rest on the mat. Reach your fingertips towards the end of your mat and then turn your palms upwards. Flip the palms back over, scoop the belly and come back up into your cat stretch. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. Exhale again, big round for cat. Inhale, lengthen, open for cow. And then return to that neutral place. Now I want you to just tuck your toes under and push out through the arches of your feet. Relax your feet, tops of the feet on the mat. Try again, curl your toes under, push out through the arches of your feet. And then relax your feet. Once again, tuck your toes under. And now we're going to start lifting that tailbone towards the sky. Allow your head to drop through your arms. Feel your ribs pulling closer to your thighs. And feel the back of your shoulder blades stretching down towards those gluteals. I'm going to nod the head yes. Shake your head no. And then just let it dangle there. While we walk our dog a few times, lift and lower each heel individually. 
We're going to raise up both heels together and then let them press down. Now let's inhale ourselves into a good sturdy plank, pushing out through the heels of your feet, belly button tight but buttocks relaxed. Exhale back up into down dog. Inhale into your plank. Exhale, return, down dog. Once more, inhale to plank. Now modify to your knees. And as we exhale, start lowering with open wide elbows. Chest down, hips down, then elbows tuck in. Press through the tops of the feet, the hip bones, lengthen the spine and rise into cobra. Exhale, opening on the way down. And inhale, lengthening, rising into cobra. Exhale again on the way down. Inhale, lengthen and rise into cobra. Now push back into extended child's pose. Breathing all the way down the length of your spine, turning those palms towards the sky. Flipping the hands back over into those foundational hands, toes tuck, and we're back up into down tuck. I'm going to walk the dog a few more times. Raising up both of our heels and then pressing them down. Now let's inhale again into our plank. Modify if you'd like or lower in one piece, exhaling on the way down. Inhale, length and rise for that cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, come on back up, down dog. Inhale again to plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale once more into plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. From here, take a giant step forward with your right foot. Let's place that foot between the hands. Make sure your knees over your ankle, your eyes are looking out. Cut that good long stretch from the top of our head to the left heel. Sink the left knee down as you press through the top of your left foot. And then let's start lifting towards the sky into crescent moon. Let the arms go wide as you open your heart. Neutralize the spine, let's hinge forward, bringing ribs to your thigh. There's our airplane. Let your hands return to the mat. Tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee, and we're back into lunge. Send the right foot back. There's our good strong plank. Exhaling back up into downward facing dog. Giant step forward, left foot. Knee over ankle, eyes looking out. Feel that long line of stretch from the heel of the right foot through the top of your head. Sink the right knee down, press through the top of your right foot, and let's reach to the sky, crescent moon. Arms go wide, open your arms, open your heart. Neutralize your spine, and then let's hinge forward, ribs to that front thigh. There's our airplane. Hands return to the mat, tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee. Return to your lunge. Now let's step the right foot forward. Think about toes close and heels apart. And then let's inhale and roll up one vertebra at a time. Reaching high to the sky. Exhale, return to your heart. Inhale again to the sky. And exhale to your heart. Inhale, touch the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Hands to the floor. Inhale, lengthen, look out. And exhale, sink deeper. Inhale again, slowly unfolding. Reaching to the sky. Exhaling to the heart. Inhale again to the sky. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back, left foot back, plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lengthen, rise into cobra. Exhale, toes tuck. We're back up into down dog. Inhale into our plank. Exhale again, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, roll up. 
reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to a heart. Again, inhale, extend, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. In exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, toes tuck, we're back up into down dog. Inhale, returns us to plank. And then exhale again, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, roll up, reach, touch the sky. Exhale into the heart. Inhale again, extend, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, looking out. And exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back, left foot back, plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lengthen, rise. Exhale, toes tuck. We're back into down dog. Inhale, return to plank. Exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, coming up. Reach to the sky. Exhale to our heart. One last sun salutation. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale into plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, rolling up. Reaching to the sky, exhaling to the heart. Let your arms come along at your sides. Palms forward, heart center open, lifting, breathing into standing mountain pose. Be aware of all four corners of your feet. Inhale again to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale, sink deeper. Step back with that right foot into your lunge. Once there, let's push the right heel down, turn your right toes out. Align your left heel with the back of your right heel and start lifting upper body. Check that your left knee is over your ankle, you've got your hip bones forward, your shoulders are stacked over your hips, adding the arms along the ears. Takes us into warrior one. Let's lower the arms to shoulder level out in front of the body. Now start reaching with your fingertips, pulling your ribs towards your front thigh. Release your hands to the mat. Return to the ball of your right foot and then push your weight forward onto your left foot as you straighten your left leg. Extend the right leg behind you. Place your hands to form a tripod with your left foot and there's tripod balance. We're remaining like that or aligning our left thumb with our left pinky toe, rolling the right hip open and extending the right arm to the sky, bringing us into half moon balance. Exhale, right hand down if it's lifted. Step the right foot in. Big toes close, heels are apart, sinking your ribs closer and closer to your thighs. Now start to bend your knees like you're about to sink your tailbone into the chair. As you're doing that, pull your knees closer together. Lift your ribs away from your thighs. Add your arms alongside your ears. And there's our chair pose. Inhale, extend towards the sky. Exhale, return your hands to the heart. Inhale again, extend, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out, and exhale as we sink. Stepping back this time with our left foot, brings us into our lunge. I'm gonna push the left heel down, turn the left toes out. Align your right heel with the back of your left heel, station the right knee over the ankle, lifting up our body. Hip bones face forward, shoulders are stacked, there go the arms alongside the ears. Now start to lower the arms in front so they're shoulder level, palms towards the sky. Stay long in the waist and start pulling your ribs towards that front thigh, extending your arms alongside your ears. Let your hands release to the mat. 
lift to the ball of your left foot, we're back at our lunge, and then push your weight forward onto your right foot as you're straightening your leg. Both hands form a tripod with the right foot. We can stay like that or align our right thumb with our right pinky toe, opening the left hip and then adding that left arm towards the sky. Exhale, bring the hand back down. Step the left foot in. Big toes and heels apart. Start to bend the knees as you're sinking that tailbone into your little chair. Pull the knees closer together. Lift your ribs away from your thighs. Add the arms alongside your ears. And then inhale, rise out of your chair. Exhale, hands return to the heart. Return to standing mountain pose and breathe. Let your chin drop to your chest. Inhale, lift the arms as you lift your eyes to the sky. Exhale, open just the arms and let your hands hook together behind your body. Once there, think about drawing the shoulder blades together as you're opening that heart, opening your throat. Inhale to neutral spine. Exhale, hinge forward. Lead with your ribs. Let your head drop and try to lift your arms higher to the sky. Exhale, your hands return to the mat. Now let's take that step back with our right foot, returning to lunge. From there, we're ready to walk ourselves around into a wide straddle, and we're facing the wide edge of our mat. Toes are gonna either point straight ahead or turn them in slightly. Think about hands under shoulders, bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhaling, we're flat back looking out. Exhaling, we're gonna mount. And I want you to relax your upper body as much as you can. So it's just limp. You can nod your head yes. Again, just shake your head no. I'll let it all just hang there. Press down into your palms, arms get straighter and straighter. Now let's try raising the heels. So you're just gonna lift onto those big toe knuckles. And then push the heels down. And try lifting your forefoot. Press your feet flat. We'll try again raising just the heels. Pressing your feet flat and then raising your forefoot. And then let those feet melt back down into the mat. Now let's take the left hand and reach across towards your right big toe. Once there, inhale right arm to the side and then exhale, let's revolve at the waist and that takes us into our twisting straddle. As we exhale, bring the right hand back down, bring the left hand back into place. Inhale with our flat back looking out. Exhale, let's extend the arms for our straddle airplane. And then let's inhale our way slowly to standing. Once we're fully upright, our feet are a little wider than our hips, our toes are in, heels are out, palms to the sky. There's our five-pointed star. Breathe into all that space that you feel across the heart center and going up the length of your spine. Rotate your palms to face forward and let's start bringing the hands closer and closer together. Let your palms meet and we'll lace our fingers and then let's press the index fingers together. And feel like you're stretching through the center of your shoulder blades. From there, let's bend the elbows so the forearms and the elbows meet. 
we're going to inhale, extend the arms towards the sky, allowing the upper arms to frame our ears while being a little bit in front of them. Feel your waistline opening, getting longer and longer. And then let's do a little side stretch to our left. Come back up and side stretch to your right. Come back up again and side stretch to your left. Lifting back up and side stretch to the right. And then inhale, lift back up. And as we exhale, let the arms reopen, bringing us back into our star. Turning our left toes to the front end of our mat, aligning our left heel with our right arch, we're ready to start bending the left knee. Inching out over the ankle without going past our toes, looking beyond that left palm, warrior two. Now lift the right arm so it's alongside your right ear and stretch the left arm a little farther forward as you lift the left, we lower the right. Turning left palm to the sky takes us into reverse warrior. Feel like you're pushing right out through the heel of your left hand. And then as we exhale, we're gonna lower that left forearm onto our left thigh and reach that right hand to the sky. Feel like you're pressing the back of your body against the wall. Let the right arm start to lower towards your right hip. It makes a full circle. On the way back up, we're going to start straightening the left leg, reaching the left hand back up to the sky. And there's our reverse triangle. And then let's bring the arms back to shoulder level. And there's our stirrup position. From there, we're ready to build triangle. So we're visualizing ourselves pressed between two panes of glass. Start pulling your right hip to the right and extending that left arm away from your right hip. Once we can't go any farther in either direction, lower the left and lift the right. You want to feel like your right hand is being pulled up towards the sky. Not feeling any tension or stress in the neck or the shoulders. Now try bending the right elbow so the back of your right hand presses into your lower back. Looking up over that right shoulder, making sure it's still pointing to the sky. Bend the left knee. And we can stay in our preparation pose or you can bind yourself. Passing that left hand behind you, grab hold of your wrist with your right hand or send the left hand between your legs, let your hands hook together. But remember, we're still pointing the right shoulder towards the sky, and that's where we're looking. I'm going to take one more inhale. On the exhale, re-extend the right hand to the sky. Return your left hand to where it was. And then as we exhale, begin to revolve upper body. Let your hands return to the mat. Return to the ball of your right foot so you're back in your lunge. Send the left foot back into that good strong plank. Exhale, lowering the body. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. You can stay there or insert a push up. And then exhale back up into downward facing dog. Let's take that right leg, extend it behind us, pushing out through the right heel, reach it towards the sky for three-legged dog. And then send the right foot between your hands, and that's going to bring you back into runner's lunge. Now, once you've established that sturdy lunge, I want you to start lifting your upper body so you end up in high lunge. Adding your arms to the sky for crescent lunge. Exhale, 
and then let your hands come into your heart. Stay long and tall in the waist. Begin to rotate towards that right shoulder and then exhale, hinge forward, and see if you can get your left elbow to tuck outside the right thigh and keep peeling that shoulder open. There's our prayer balancing twist. On the exhale, let's untwist. Return your hands to the mat. Step forward with your left foot. Big toes close, heels apart. And then we're gonna inhale and roll up from there. Reach high and touch the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. And then let's return to standing mountain pose. Inhale again, touch the sky. Exhale, open just the arms. Again, we're going to hook them together behind us. Shoulder blades roll together, opening the heart center, opening the throat. Breathe into all that space. Inhale, neutralize the spine. Exhale, begin to hinge forward. Rib cage pulling closer and closer to your thighs, dropping your head, lifting your arms. Exhale, release your fingers to the mat. Once there, we'll step back with our left foot, bringing us back into our lunge, and then let's walk ourselves around so we end up in straddle, facing the other side of our mat. Toes are in, heels are out, hands under shoulders, inhale our flat back, exhale we're melting. And we're just going to drop that head down, let your upper body dangle freely. See if you can slip your fingers under the outer edges of your feet and then use the strength in your arms to actually pull a little deeper down without tensing through the shoulders or the neck. And then let's come off of our fingertips and let your hands walk back to center, pushing down through your palms. From here, I want you to start to bend your knees more and more and see about pulling your tailbone closer to the mat. So you're just going to go into a nice deep squat, go where you can go. And then start to push the legs straight. And let's walk our right hand over towards our left big toe. Inhale our left arm out to the side. And then exhale, revolve at your waist, bringing you into your twisting straddle. Let's exhale that hand back down. Once we've made it back into center, once again, we're going to bend the knees and try sinking those hips down. And then let's push the legs straight. Inhale, lengthen, look out with our flat back. Exhale, let's open the arms for airplane. And then inhale, lifting up to standing. Once there, adjust yourself into your five-pointed star. You've got your feet a little wider than your hips, toes are in, heels are out. Palms open, face to the sky. Feeling that long stretch. Rotate your palms to face one another. And let's start bringing them closer and closer together. Once there, press your palms, lace your fingers, press your index fingers together. Actively feel like you're separating those shoulder blades. And then bend the elbows so your forearms and your elbows meet together. And then inhale, start to lift the arms towards the sky. Allow your upper arms to frame your head. Keeping that neck 
long and unrestricted. Good. Now, while we're lifting and lengthening out of your waist, I want you to rotate towards your right shoulder, uh, rotate towards the right. So you're just twisting at the waist and then come back to neutral and let's twist to the left. Return to neutral, still lengthening or twisting, twisting right. Back to neutral, and we're twisting left. And then we're back to neutral. Good, and then let the arms reopen ah, into our five-pointed star. Turning your right toes to the front end of your mat, align your right heel with your left arch. Start to bend the right knee. Let that knee find its way out over your ankle without pushing past your toes. And just look out past your right hand. Warrior two. Body weight is centered equally into both feet. Now lift that left arm alongside your ear. Stretch the right arm a little further forward. And then start lifting the right as you lower your left. Turning your right palm to the sky. Reverse warrior. Let's bring the right forearm to the right thigh. Extend the left arm to the sky. Now let's lower the left arm. It's going to make a full circle down towards your hip. On the way back up, we're going to lift the upper body. We're going to start straightening the right leg, reaching that right arm up, turning right palm to the sky, and there's reverse triangle. Let's bring ourselves back into five-pointed star. Or actually, not five-pointed star, just our starting position. And now we're ready for triangle. So in triangle pose, we're pulling our left hip left and we're stretching the right arm as far away from the left as it will go once we can't go any farther in either direction go ahead and lower the right and lift the left and enjoy that stretch like you're being pulled towards the sky not feeling any tension in the shoulder no tension in the neck And then from there, we're going to bend the left elbow so the back of our left hand presses into low back. Keep peeling that left shoulder towards the sky. That's where we're gazing. And then we're going to bend the right knee. And we can stay in this preparation pose or we can pass the right hand behind us, grab hold of it with your left hand, or you could send the right hand between your legs, letting your hands hook together. Continue to roll that left shoulder open and breathe. Got one more inhale as we are. On the exhale, send the left hand back up to the sky. Return the right hand to where it was. And then as we exhale, we'll start to revolve up our body. Let your hands come back onto the mat, lift onto the ball of your left foot, and then go ahead and step that right foot back into your plank. Exhale, we're gonna lower. Inhale, we're gonna lengthen and rise. Exhale, re tuck the toes, we're back up into down dog. And then inhale yourself into plank. You can stay there or insert that push up. And then exhale back up into downward facing dog. Let's extend the left leg behind us, push out through the heel, and then keep reaching that heel towards the sky. As we exhale, we'll step the left foot forward between the hands, bringing us back into our lunge. Now, once you feel like you have a nice stable lunge, Let's start lifting upper body into high lunge. 
adding the arms for crescent lunge. And then we'll press our hands together at heart center. Staying nice and tall in the waist, begin to rotate towards the left. And then as you exhale, let's tip forward and see if we can get that right elbow to the outside of our left thigh. Prayer balancing twist. On the next exhale, let's untwist, returning hands to the mat. Giant step forward, or backward, sorry, with the forward with the right foot. Big toes close, heels apart, and inhale, roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Let your arms re-extend, and we're back into mountain pose. Now I want you to begin to shift your weight into your right foot. Find that focal point for your eyes. And we're going to lift the left foot and place your left ankle atop your right thigh. So it's like you've created the number four with your legs. Let your hands come together at your heart and then see if you can bend that right knee like you're sitting down into a chair. While we're still in our chair, uncross the leg. Toes and heels out, and then push the leg straight. Extend the arms back up to the sky, and exhale, let them come down. Inhale the arms back up, and exhale, hands to your heart. Now let's shift our weight into the left foot. Again, finding that focal point for your eyes. Billy button is nice and tight. We're going to lift the right foot and then place the right ankle on the left thigh so our legs look like the number four. And then see if we can bend the left knee like you're sitting down into that chair with your leg crossed over. And then uncross the leg. So we've got our foot back down. We're still in our chair. And then we're going to inhale and rise from the chair. And exhale, let the arms come down. Inhale, lift the arms. This time, exhale, we're going to fold all the way forward. Once we've got ourselves folded in half, inhale, look out. Exhale, let's go a little deeper down. Really lay your ribs on your thighs. Cradle your elbows in the palms of your hands. And let your head just drop in that frame. And then let's release fingers to the mat. Step back, right foot, left foot into your plank. Let's make sure our right shoulder is over our right wrist and let's turn and open for side plank. Modify to the side of your right knee if you'd like. As we exhale, come back around into plank. And then from there, I want you to sink down onto your left knee. Extend the right leg behind you, push out through the heel. And then reach the left arm forward with your palm facing up. Try lifting your left foot so it's not helping you balance. And then bring the hand and the foot back down. And we're going to step the right foot forward. Let your hands rest on the inside of that right foot and start to pull the top of your left thigh towards the mat. Keeping your right knee over the ankle. You can walk your hands out a little farther and just let your upper body sink down. So I want you to be feeling this in the front of your left thigh, in the back of your right thigh. And then see if you can start to pull the right knee out from the body so we end up on the outer edge of our right foot and that should take that stretch into the outside of your hip. And then bring the knee back up. Let's walk the hands back in. 
Once there, tuck your left toes under, return to your lunge, and then we'll step our right foot back into that good sturdy plank. Now we're ready to make sure left shoulders over left wrist, opening for side plank, modify to the side of your knee if you'd like. And then as we exhale, let's come back around into our plank. And then go ahead and lower the right knee to the mat. Extend the left leg behind you. Reach the right arm forward, turning your palm to the sky. And then try lifting that right foot so it's not helping you balance. Bring the hand and foot back down and then we'll step the left foot forward. Placing both hands to the inside of your left foot. Once there, start pulling the top of your right thigh towards the mat. Let your hands walk a little farther out so you can sink a little deeper down. And again, we wanna feel this in the front of the right thigh, in the back of the left thigh. And then see if you can open the left knee out to the side a bit so we end up on the outer edge of that left foot and that's going to take the stretch into the outside of your hip. And then from there let's bring the knee back in. Go ahead and walk your hands back in. Tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee, and then we'll send our left foot back. And there we are, we're back in our plank. Press back up into downward facing dog. And then let's come back down onto all fours. Separate the knees, big toes touch, and let's push back with our tailbone. Ah, bringing us back into extended child's pose. Let's pass left arm through right armpit, so we're gonna sink a little deeper down, feeling that deep stretch go across the back, left shoulder and the upper back. Bring that arm in, out and we'll switch, passing right through left. And then let's bring both arms out. So let your arms come down alongside the body and let your shoulders roll towards the mat. And then place your hands under your shoulders so you can lift upper body. And then once we're upright, just sweep your legs around and we'll come into a seated position with our knees bent. Let's place our hands behind our thighs, tighten the belly button and find your balance on your tailbone. When you feel ready, start extending your legs towards the sky. And once you feel like you're at a place where you can balance and not feel your back collapse, let your arms extend. And then slowly start to open. You're gonna press out through your heels, let your arms extend behind you. Stretch your whole body nice and straight. Good, and then let's pull the left knee all the way into the chest. Give it a good hug. And let's do a couple knee circles around. And then go the other way. And then we'll send that leg back out and we'll switch. Let's pull the right knee in, nice tight hug. Adding in our knee circle. And then a few the other way. And then just keep that knee pulled in. Let's bring the other knee back in. So, ah, uh, there's our nice tight hug. Let's rest the feet on the mat. Space your feet apart about hips distance. Toes and heels out. Heels far enough away from your glutes so that one and we lift up into bridge slowly peeling up into that shoulder bridge. 
We're feeling all sorts of activation in the buttocks and the hamstrings, no pressure in the knees, and no weight in the neck. And then one vertebra at a time, let's melt all the way back down. Once we've made it all the way back down, let's bring knees and feet closer together. Let your arms go nice and wide, and then start to drop your knees to the left. Take them as far as they'll go without lifting that right shoulder, and let's look right. Bring the knees back up, and now we'll drop the knees right, and look left. And then let's bring the knees back to neutral. And let's bring the arms closer to the body. We're gonna pull the knees in towards the chest. And then start to bring the soles of your feet together and open the knees wider as you're resting the outer edges of your feet in the palms of your hands. Let's actually rock back and forth a few times like this. And then come back to neutral and simply separate your feet. We're going to keep the knees bent. Pull down with your hands and push up with your feet. There's our dead bug. And while we're here, we're going to rock a few more times. We'll then hang out in that neutral center. And let's go ahead and try extending the legs straighter and straighter. And then try opening them wider and wider for your lying fan. And then let your legs bring, come closer together. And imagine that you're going to pull your feet over your head. And then you can release one leg and let it float down. Once it makes it all the way to the mat, let's release the other and let it float down. And then once it's all the way down, we're simply tensing the legs. So feel the stretch from your hips to your heels. Keep the rest of the body soft. And then let your legs go soft and do the same with your legs or your arms. Stretch your arms from your shoulders right up through the fingertips. Everything else is relaxed. And let your arms go soft. And we're going to do the same thing with your belly. Now I want you to tighten the belly. Feel like you're trying to attach the back side of your navel against your spine. Still breathing, not tensing anything else. And then let that belly go so soft. And just continue to breathe long and smooth. Letting your breath make its way around all parts of the body. Lingering in those spots <clears throat> that might need <clears throat> a little bit of extra help.
The ultimate measure of a person is not where they stand in moments of comfort and convenience, but where they stand at times of challenge and controversy. Let us set aside all of our anxious thoughts and make a choice to live today with courage, with an open heart and a grateful heart and a hopeful heart. Know that my light honors your light. I honor that place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the beauty, the peace, it is within you because it's also within me. In sharing these things, we are united. We are the same. We are one. Namaste. I thank you all for joining me this morning. Don't forget to spread those random acts of kindness. And I hope you have a great day. Be safe, be healthy, and I'll see you guys soon.